my fucking God. We have just lost to Brighton. Yep, Brighton. I, I'm speechless, seriously. This, this banter club is just taking it to a whole new fucking level now. You know, we, we've been bantered off left, right and centre away from home all fucking season. Brighton, they, they went for the jugular. From the first minute, they knew we were wounded. They knew our away record was shit. They've seen our results in the last couple of games against Spurs, Man City, etc. Ostersund as well. And they went straight for it. And let's be right and real. They should have had four or five in that first half. They, they battered us in that first half. Um, we got lucky to get the goal. Um, and I thought, OK, that might kick us on in the second half. But let's be real. Did any Arsenal fan seriously expect us to come back and get a draw, let alone a fucking win out of that game? We are absolutely fucking awful. Awobi, seriously, really, what are you doing? Why are you still at this football club? Granite Xhaka, I thought, played a little bit better today, but nah, come on, man. Is Granite Xhaka Albanian for pass backwards? Because that's all he fucking does. I know he set the goal up, but other than that, he is fucking garbage. You know, Callum Chambers, I thought, played all right. He was getting crosses in the box, but... The rest of them, Meze Ozil, I'm sorry. You've signed your new contract on 300 bags a week. Where the fuck have you been since? You're supposed to be the main guy, the main man, the, the superstar of the team. What the fuck are you doing? You're hiding, mate. They're all hiding. It's a fucking disgrace. I am fuming today, seriously, because although I expected us to probably not win, I put us down as a draw in my preview, as you all see, but... I actually expected us to come out and actually go, do you know what? We're going to fucking show up today. You've got the, the captain on the day, Koscielny. <sighs> wow. Disgusting. Absolutely disgusting performance from him. You know, it's no coincidence that the geezer breaks down crying in a meeting in the week. Um, there's rumours going around that it was him that was crying because his kids take the piss out of him because we're shit. Well, sorry, mate. Only you lot can fucking fix that. I can't fix that. I'm glad I didn't go today. Seriously, because I would have fucking... I probably would have got nicked. Because I, I would have been fucking fuming if I'd got up at eight, seven, eight in the morning to go down to Brighton for that. I wouldn't have got back until seven or eight at night. I would have spunked fucking maybe 80 quid on the day. It's a fucking shambles. This club is a fucking shambles. And when does it end? When, when do they actually go? Do you know what? Enough is a fucking enough now. He's going. Yeah, fuck his legacy, fuck what he's done for this club, couldn't give two flying fucks what he's done for this club. What he is doing now to this club is harming it for the next five to ten fucking years. Yeah, it's a fucking joke. Seriously, somebody in that football club needs to go, right, done, game over, fuck him off. Yeah, because he ain't going to leave. He sits there, well, uh, well uh, I turned down the whole world. Who gives a fuck? You turned down the whole world because they'd fucking sack you within a year. Yeah, you're staying on your comfortable, cushy little fucking number. Fucking hate him. What he has done to this football club over the last 10 years is knock us so far behind everybody else whilst fucking losing a generation of fucking fans. Not any kid nowadays wants to fucking grow up supporting Arsenal. The geezer is a mug. He's a fucking mug. I am fucking sick of it. I hate him. Absolutely hate what he has done to this club. And there's still deluded pricks out there that back him. Oh, yeah, well, you can't be disrespectful to the man. Why not? Why not? Every fucking week he disrespects us. Every, every single week them players disrespect us. Fuck him. Fuck his legacy. Venga the fuck out. I am fucking sick of this now. Seven fucking years I've been banging on about get this geezer out. Get this geezer out. And seven years I've had abuse. I've had death threats. I've had fucking threats of violence. Yeah, maybe now you all might start fucking thinking and seeing, yeah, do you know what? He was actually right seven years ago when he started spouting this. Because it ain't getting any better. We're fucked. We are actually fucked. We've got AC Milan on Thursday. <laughs> AC Milan. They must be licking their chops in excitement for this game. They are going to absolutely tear us a new one on Thursday night. And where, where do we go from here? Seriously. There, there's reports that, um, obviously, I've still got Sky on now. They said that Thierry Henry's left the studio. Um, there's reports going around that he got in a helicopter and he was flying down to London. Um, 
I'll take anyone, literally anyone, me, you, anybody else watching this video could do a better job than that deluded, egotistical cunt that's running that club right now. I fucking hate him. Anyway, I'm done. Subscribe, like, share, follow my Twitter and my Insta, Lee Gunner 82 Leave your comments down below. I'm going to go and cheer, cheer myself up, I think. I'm going to go and jump on a podcast with, um, with Guna Eagle Eye. Um, so check out that. That'll be on YouTube, live streaming in about 20 minutes. So yeah, we're going to try and cheer each other up. And um, nothing more to say, really. Laters, peeps.